uh, number six, number seven. I'm looking at how do you simplify the square root of 52? So again, very, very, very similar to the first question of this, uh, of this question set here, right? Where it was asking us, how do we simplify something, right? So again, we can use our two methods. Our first one here was our simplified radical form. Every time we know about this, we actually know the square root, right? The square root gives it away that this here is a um, radical type of question here. Or number two is we want long division, right? So as you can see on the left here, um, they've chose to do the long division solution. So which means I will choose to do the radical, simplified radical solution here. So I'm giving the square root of 52 here. And I th is, did I do the square root of 52? I feel like I did. Uh, I think, no, actually, and that was 72, right? Let me look back here. Yeah, this was 72, not 52 here. So this here is different. Uh, Yeah, that's different. That's a different question. So I'm gonna do number one here, which is the simplified radical form. So number one gives me I have a square root of 52 here, and how am I going to again divide out some factors here? Well, I can look at this number here. I'm using the prime factors and breaking them into small blocks, right? So the prime factors, um, I know it's an even number, so I can divide it this by two here, right? And then 52 divided by two is I believe 26. And again, I can do the exact same thing, right? 26 is also an even number, right? So I can divide out, get another root 2 here. And we get 26 divided by 2 here is 13. Now, um, I know that 13 here, I can't break this down, down into a, a, a smaller block because 13 here is indeed a prime number. But I can actually, what I can do is I can um, simplify these two guys here. Root 2 times root 2 here gives me root 4 times root 13. And now root 4 here is simply just 2, right? So 2 root 13 here. Is my answer right? I get an integer and a um, and a radical here is my solution here. So therefore, two root thirteen is the simplified radical form of root fifty two here. So this here is my solution. So this here is my solution for simplified radical form. And as you can see, we can also do a long division, right? So number two here is they, they did here is a long division, right? So as a, let me break this down for you again. So again, I'm, I start with 52, right? I start with 52. And again, I'm thinking of a squared number here to get closest to 52. In this case, seven squared is 49, right? So this is the closest number I'm gonna get to 42. So Again, so I write 7 in both the divisor and the dividend. 7 times 7 here gives me 49. 52 minus 49 is 3. And then I simply just double our um, double our divisor here. Or sub double our quotient to get our, our new divisor here, which is 14. I'm going to add two zeros here to make the 300. And then I'm going to think about, okay, 1, 4, and then 1 value, right? Which value of 140, uh, 140-something would be closest to 300 here? So we'd say 141 times 1 would give me 141, obviously. 142 times 2 would give me 284. Right? And this one here would be my um, would be closest to 300, right? So I put a 2 here and a 2 here, which would give me 284. I subtract th that by 300, and you get 16. I double the, uh, divid uh, the quotient again to get me 144. And then I'm simply working with 144 now, right? I have 144, and I add two zeros here to, one, to 1,600. Well, I can only have... Uh, and then do the long division step again. In this case, uh, one is my only uh, correct answer here just because uh, I can't fit any more 1400s and 40 somethings into 1600. So one here and one here would give me 1441. I subtract that, I get 159. And here is when I stop because I have two decimal places. So therefore, this here is my answer. It's 7.21 or plus or minus 721 is here is the correct answer. Um, so therefore, uh, two root, so 2 root 13, if you plug this into your calculator, is also equivalent to plus or minus 7.21 here. And this could be seven plus or minus as well. So the solution here is correct. And they did the long, they did the long division well as well. Correct. 
Cochrane analysis. And I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna put my work for the simplified radical form because again, I'm not sure uh, what uh, what number they what what kind of uh, a question they're trying to ask me when we're looking at a simplified radical form. So this would equal square root two times square root two times square root of thirteen. Therefore, you have square root four. 13, which equals 2 times square root 13. Therefore, simplified radical form of square root 52 equals 2 square root 13. So solution here is correct.